okay so if you have other properties as well make sure you map or match them with the cmg property okay so far so good so click on okay so this is what we have beautiful right so currently we are looking at the porosity porosity distribution and the view is ij two-dimensional rl view but we can of course change it to 3d view okay i like it better and you can use this rotate reservoir model if you are interested to to know all right the entire model okay so far so good so that's the first thing the easy thing that we already imported the rescue file and have it in our builder okay and at the time we can save so i'm going to save all right file and save as okay so this is the directory to which i want to save my file so click on save yeah so this is the directory and then click on ok okay so far so good so at least we have saved this model although we have done pretty much significant advancement in this model but that's good we already have the 3d model inside the builder okay now we will define reservoir properties so let's go first to you can select this one and io control input on output control okay we can go to title and case id okay for example i'm going to call this 3d ccs okay okay so in the input output control section you open the title and case id and the window will be shown and you can input the title okay three rows available for you and you can also make case id here okay if you want to make several cases you you better use id there but in this case we can click on okay so this is the title 3d ccs okay and then we can open the specified properties there okay so we have general property specification and we can expand the window here okay we can find porosity or permeability in j direction okay and permeability in k direction to to be equal with permeability in i direction okay so on this one whole grid okay we can make it like this so permeability in sorry Okay, so permeability in J direction will be equal with the permeability in I direction. For the permeability in I direction, we get the distribution, we get the value from the rescue file, right? But we can just make the permeability in J direction equal to the permeability in I direction. And the same thing for permeability in K direction, you can make it edit specification. Yeah, right click edit specification and equals i click on okay okay and here right click edit specification equals i okay so this will be blank the other layer we have 13 layers here as you can see but we apply the equal to the whole grid so the left one the, the other will be blanked so click on ok so block corner value calculation in many cases you can click on ok 
So you should have already permeability in first eye direction. This one. Okay, and then yeah, you can just pan here or maybe you can rotate. And let's check the permeability in J direction. You see the the symbol here is different. Here we have green ball, sort of green, green ball, right? But on the permeability J and K direction, we have equal symbol there. So yeah, they are exactly the same. Okay. All right. But maybe if you want to have a better, you know, assumption, maybe permeability in K direction should not be equal to the permeability in I and J direction, but maybe it's a rule of thumb it's like 10% of the permeability in I or J direction. Because in many natural phenomena, the permeability, horizontal permeability should be greater than the vertical permeability. For vertical permeability will be a fraction of the horizontal permeability, okay? But in this case, I will follow the guideline or the tutorial from CMG itself. So yes, use the equal sign. And then we can open the rock compressibility here. So you see the symbol here. So it means that we already good in grade and we are already good in array properties. Okay, and then let's go to rock compressibility. Okay, and let's input the rock compressibility C4, pressure dependence of formation porosity, which means the rock compressibility, where the, the keyword is C4, and let's input the value of 5.8, and then E minus seven, okay? And that's the compressibility. And for the reference pressure, PR4, reference pressure for calculating the effect of rock compressibility, we are going to input 11,800 kilopascal. Okay. And then reference temperature, TR4, 25 degrees centigrade. Okay, good. Thermal expansion, we can input the default value. Okay, so click on OK. So rock compressibility, already good. All right, and the fluid model for this data set, yeah, we need to address about the fluid properties. So yeah, we will deal with the fluid properties later. And also for the, yeah, the component, I will deal with this one later and rock, rock fluid interaction. Yeah, we will deal with this one also later. Okay, but I want to, in this video, I want to directly go to the wells and recurrent.